Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. You guys are digging deep. I'm digging deep for you guys. It's late, but we're going to do this together. 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. Eight box jumbo. Pick your team nine. Let's do this. Woo! There's, on a Thursday night. There you go. Thanks to all these folks for digging deep. Rex, Last Spot Mojo. Nice, Angels. So thanks to everybody for getting into this, filling up this break, making it happen. Ooh. We've got a couple more jumbo cases left, ladies and gentlemen. And that super jumbo that's on the website right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com, that's our last super jumbo. So we are running out of this Bowman draft. Price has been continually going up, so we've not really been able to, to dip back into this. So, so get into it while supplies last. All right, there's two... Four, six, and eight. Who do we appreciate? Bowman Draft, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we appreciate. Jumbos have three autographs per box. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. As you know by now, paper base is not shipped. Everything else does. We're going to cruise through this break. No, I pre Andrew, I appreciate you digging deep. I don't mind going late, ladies and gentlemen. As long as we're as long as we're rallying and digging deep, we'll make it happen. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Um, twins, the, the Tice for your marriage, the the Nelson Cruz. The Nelson Cruz era is over in Seattle. He signed with the uh, signed with the Twins. What does everyone think about that Nelson Cruz deal? We need some more action in this offseason, by the way. You're talking about Twins signing Nelson Cruz. Randy Ramos, you need a nice hit? I could use a, a hit of Jameson. All right now. Uh, Tice and Andrew, maybe even Matt, Matt Bodner, maybe Randy. I think some of you guys weren't in the room yesterday. But we were talking about how we're thinking of Jaspi Fest in Las Vegas. How do you guys feel about this? Thoughts? All right. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll do like a, an impromptu casual one just to test it out. But maybe by the time the Raider Stadium opens up, Maybe we'll go in the fall. Maybe watch a little football. Maybe do some group breaks. We'll rent out a banquet room, do some group breaks, live group breaks. And we'll, you guys can bring your stuff. It'll be a trade night. All right, so I'm going to speed through this paper because we're not shipping it. We'll speed through this as well. Alex McKenna, 14 out of 50, gold paper. We're going to set those papers aside as well. We'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those. Rex is asking if you made the promo. Rex, did you purchase a spot before 1030 Pacific? If so, then yes. Metropolitans, that goes to DMAC. Springfield, Missouri has direct flights there. You're in. Just got to okay with the wife. No, bring her. If you, are, if you are married men, folks, or even if you're a woman breaking with us and you're a married woman, bring your spouses. Bring your spouses because I want to thank them personally. <laughs> Mrs. Pop, Mrs. Herman, Thank you for letting Andrew and Tice come out and play at Jaspies. <laughs> Appreciate you letting them do this wacky thing that they do every night, every other night. I know, they're spending a lot of time with us.
Mets auto going to DMAC. Did I say that? Or I think I did. Matt, you'd be 100% down? I don't think rooms are the issue. I think everyone has different budgets and everything. So, so you know, obviously plenty of places to stay in Las Vegas. You just have to get there. And they just have to, you know, find whatever uh, lodgings fit their budget. There's Cabrian Hayes to 499 Um. But I, I would think it would be near the... Uh, any guesses on that redemption? I think it would be anywhere near the new Raider Stadium, near Mandalay Bay. There's some, uh, you know, you can go nice. You can stay at Mandalay. You can, you can, uh, you can hang out with the kids at, at the Hooters Casino down the street. There's Pedro Avila, 250. Orleans is a nice locals casino. Got a good bowling alley there. Um, Palms is close by. There's some affordable rooms there at the Palms. So there are a lot of different places. But I think I'd post up around there near the near T-Mobile Arena too. That's where the hockey team is. And um, but yeah, we've been kicking around that idea. I think I mean obviously, aside from when I stalk you guys on Facebook, if you're in the Facebook group, um, I don't know what you guys look like or what your voices are like or all that sort of stuff. You know, so it'd be good to, and especially for those of you like you know. Tice, Matt Bodner, they don't know what each other look like. You know, it'd be cool to cool to put names with faces. I'd have everyone kind of bring a suitcase, like a, you know, like a duffel bag of of their hits. You know what I mean? Nice Jonathan India. Out of 75. Nice one for the Reds. That goes to Jerry, no, Jeffrey, Lobota. It's late. <laughs> um, but I would have people bring like a, a small stack of their like hits they got from Jaspies for like a maybe trade or sell night or something like that as well. So I think something like that would be would be really cool. You know, especially if you're a West Coaster that can't make it to like the the Midwest or the East Coast for the National. We will be going to the National in Chicago next year though. I mean, we may do like an impromptu kind of like meetup, I think would be cool in Vegas just for a quick weekend. But maybe when the Raider Stadium opens up in 2020, we can do something a little more formal. Get like an actual room and a uh, banquet hall or something like that to invite some people, maybe a small admission, something. Cal Quantrill. I think that would take, cause, you know, for Jaspies, the community is a big, big thing for us. And I think that would just work to solidify this, this community that we have. I think that's what sets us apart. Anyone can open up a case of Bowman Draft, right? But not everyone has this community that we have here. All right, someone is due to receive Chrome Draft Pick autograph of G. Bryce Turing doesn't start with a G, Jags. Grayson Allen? No, Grayson Rodriguez. Orioles, I think. Yes, Orioles, 11th overall pick for the O's. That goes to Karen and the Orioles. Nice one, Karen. Anyhow, yeah, Andrew would be down. I feel like, Ty, so your sister, I think we talked about it. We've talked about this. My sister lives in Vegas, too. Um... Where, do, where does your sister live in Vegas? Vegas is really funny, ladies and gentlemen. Like, obviously, if you've been, you know, the Strip is pretty crazy and all the hotels up and down Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street and all that sort of stuff. But if you go, like, one or two miles east or west of the 15 freeway of the Strip, it's all super suburbia. You know, like rows of houses, nice apartment complexes. You know, everyone with all those people that work at the casinos have to live somewhere, right? Targets, Walmarts, all the usual stuff. Strip malls, you know, everything. All your creature comforts. Yeah, well... <laughs> Boss man is kind of semi-retired, Tice. It's pretty much Nick and I running the show. 
It'd be us paying for ourselves for that business trip. Boulder High. I have no idea where that is. What's a. I think my sister lives off of Tropicana and something. Decatur, perhaps? That's where I was for Christmas. I was visiting my sister. Great outlet shops. I was at the. Uh, I got this. This this fleece vest here I got at the Columbia outlet stores in South uh, in the South outlet stores not the North one the South ones <laughs> I don't have Columbia like actual Columbia money no one who's got money for that stuff's expensive outlet though I'll outlet it I have no shame I don't got Columbia money. The Mets. Oh, and your autograph is nice. Boom. An upside down Alec Bomb. That's great for John G. Nice. That is your third overall pick. Very nice. Supposed to be the real deal. Holy field, John. That's what the that's what the scouts say. That's what all the reports say. Corner uh, infielders, I've read, tend to project better as uh, as solid solid uh, major league baseballers. Manny Machado drafted as a third baseman, and he was also third overall. Oh, she lives near your Tice's sister lives near the. UNLV football stadium, nice. Raiders might might spend a, spend a year there if they can't figure out where they're going to play in 2019. They may just go to Vegas early. Oh, no worries, John. Hey, thank you for grabbing that big team in the Phillies off the board to help this rally happen, help this break happen. We'll randomize these left and right. Wait, what's Mark Appel doing? What's he doing right now? Machado was behind Mark Appel. I don't remember that. It's crazy. There's Greg Diekman. It's crazy. I mean, there's so many rounds of baseball drafts and so many different kinds of, you know, there's amateur draft, the international this, and blah, 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 blah. There's the main draft where all these guys come from. There's Connor Scott. You know, I mean, it's not like football or basketball. You know, these guys take so long to develop. But the prospecting, you know, this is, the prospecting. That's what that's where that's where this Bowman draft stuff is incredible. Connor Scott for the Marlins. Andrew Hennessy with that one. So who knows? Who knows what any of these guys could turn into? Obviously, you know, you're thinking first rounders should be able to to at least be a semi regular starter. Right? You want at least that from your first rounders. A starter, decent starter. Maybe you'll a one or two win above replacement kind of starter. If you're lucky, maybe all star level. And then hopefully some of these guys end up being superstars as well. I mean that's that's really ideally what will happen. But if you get these, if you collect these guys at the Bowman draft level, there's a lot of upside there. There, are, you know, let's be honest here. There are a few you guys, you know, where I think we're all most of us are all hobby veterans, right? The idea of investment is. It's kind of hard to attach to the we've been we've been fooled by that before in the '90s, right? Um, you can't really attach an idea of investment to a lot of this stuff in the hobby anymore. It's nice stuff. There's short-term gains, you know, a lot of strong short-term return on investment. But you know, long-term it's a little tricky. But it's stuff like this Bowman draft, that contenders basketball we did, Prism basketball. You know, there are a handful of products that are still out there where you can actually call it an investment. Listen. John can get this Alec bomb, right? Nice base autograph. You know, look, he could grade it, get a 9, 5, 10 on that. He holds on to it for a few years, see what happens. You know, if Alec bomb turns out to be a superstar, boom, there you go. There's Griffin Roberts, same with this guy too. If he stops smoking weed. Or Trevor Story, it could take years. Yeah, the high school guys will take a little bit longer, obviously. 
College guys, you, you would hopefully project to be a little bit sooner. So there's your third auto. That's for the Cardinals. That'll be for Randy Ramos. There you go, Randy. Um, I think you are, Gabe. You can double check your receipt or your My Account page should have your order. But let me check the list in just a second after this box. Need low number of parallels. We'll breathe through this paper. Oh, purple something, purple chrome? Purple chrome, Kyle Isbell for the Royals. That, that's for Gabe. There you go, Gabe. There you are. Yes, you have the Royals in this one. This is Pick Your Team 9, ladies and gentlemen. Bowman Draft Baseball, 8-box jumbo from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is our last break of the night. We'll be going way over our normal uh, stream time, but that's all good. As there's a lot of people in the room here chit-chatting, which I like. And uh, I mean, we've been pulling some nice stuff out of here already. Eric Bailey. Hi, Eric. I, I don't know if you're in. Oh, yeah. Eric has, uh, EB has Yankees and A's in this one. There he is. Yeah, Yankees and A's. No Yankees and A's thus far, Eric. But we are only three boxes, two boxes in. This is the third box. Yeah, hopefully we'll get that Super Jumbo done, Eric. Um, that's our last case of Super Jumbo. Maybe I'll emphasize that more tomorrow. Well, that's our last case of Super Jumbo. And then we have two more of, of this regular Jumbo. In case you're wondering, folks, if you're not familiar with this Bowman draft, Kyler Murray not in this. He was drafted ninth overall by the A's, but not in this set. He might not even do baseball. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's breeze through this paper. Some chrome here. Cody West, what's going on? Anybody watch Bird Box? What, on, on the Netflix? That movie looks scary. Don't do scary movies. Why? Because they're scary. <laughs> we got Jesus Sanchez out of 99. Green paper for the Rays. There's Simeon Woods Richardson for the Metropolitans. That'll be for DMAC and the Mets. Is that the movie? Is that the movie where they're where they're blindfolded? Is that the one? And they have to wander around blindfolded, or else your worst fears will come true, and blah blah blah. Yeah, that sounds terrifying, Cody West. No thanks. Yeah, that, that sounds terrifying. No thanks. That movie sounds terrifying. Oh, nice. That's number to 250. That'll be randomized separately. Wait, when did I pull three Hanager autos for you? From, from an old break of this? That's pretty good. Osiris Johnson for the Marlins. Cyan paper. Oh, look at this. Printing plate autograph. On plate autograph. Lenny. Lenny Torres for the tribe. Karen Paglia. I'll be honest with you, folks. I don't mind. 
I don't really mind sticker autos that much. I think it's just kind of part of, you know, there's so much demand for autographs. It's part of, you know, how the hobby goes. But printing plates, I do mind. Stickers. So when there's an on-plate autograph, oof, that is strong. Karen Paglia, all aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. We were just talking about that earlier, Eric Bailey. Yeah, Brady Singer, what a what a great um, thing. I think some of you would probably have seen this. There's Mike Ciani, green chrome to 99. Yeah, he had, I think it was him videotaping his parents, right, opening the letter that he wrote to them about how he was, how he has pretty much, because, you know, the family has taken out loans to so put him on, like, travel teams and, you know, just in general. You see that, and there is a nice video of him for the holidays. There's Jonathan Stiver, 402, of him saying that he paid off all those debts and everything, and all their credit card debts and their loans and everything. Yeah, Paven Smith did that. I think I remember Paven Smith doing that last year, too. It's always nice to see things like that. There's Cole Wynn out of 250, purple paper for the Rangers. Did, did did Brady Singer mention that he had a brother? Who's his I feel like I know another singer in baseball, maybe. There's Matt Libator for the Rays. That goes to Greg Dunaway. Is it Kyle Singer? Maybe not. Maybe I think I'm thinking of the Seeger brothers. But I don't. I, I forget if his brother was in baseball or not, or if he's re if his brother reached the pro level. I, I was under the impression that his um, that his brother was also in baseball in some capacity, or decent enough to be on the travel teams and everything. All right, Josh Stower is that um, parallel will go to. Tice and his M's. And I and, and and you can tell that it wasn't staged too, you know what I mean? So you know, so you never know with that with those social media videos, right? They're almost it's almost self congratulatory sometimes, but no, you can tell. I feel I feel I at least to me, you can tell that it was it, that his parents, that their parents weren't prepared for it. They had no idea it was gonna. That was what's, what was gonna go down. So, I mean, it was very genuine, which is also great. A lot of Gatorades. Gatorade gets expensive. King D, what's going on? No worries. Be safe out there. Just doing some uh, eight box Bowman Jumbo. This is pick your team six or pick your team nine. That is upside down six. Um, I think you have the you have the Astros in this one. No Strohs yet. Almost. Well, what happened instead, King D? And the guy just stopped and pulled over. And you were like, I was kind of hoping you'd go, man, <laughs> so I can hit the lights and chase you around. Alfonso Rivas, paper. Jaden, yes. 
I forgot to tell you. So we were doing opted to six. Yes, I remember this. Nice. Here's your first overall. Casey Mize. Nice. Nice Mize for Karen Paglia and the Tigers. Nice. There you go. Numero uno. He's supposed to be the real deal Holyfield as well. Allegedly. Give King D a little excitement. Safe excitement, though, King D. I don't want you to get hurt. Wow. So Jaden says, we were doing Optic 6, and all the lights and the computers and everything went out. A transformer for all of North Queens blew up? That must be... There must be like a million people in, the, in that part of the world. Well, I'm in the middle, middle of a break. This is this is this is the moment where I wish I had some sort of voice activated thing. Hey Google, look up North Queens transformer blowing up. There's Grant Avril Levine, three out of twenty five orange chrome. Jeff Goldberg with the Rockies, nice. Everyone saying it was aliens. That's what Jaden says. He's 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 on the he he's on the ground there. Nice late first round. Looks like a supplemental pick maybe. Late first round pick. Oh, actually, competitive balance round A pick, forty two in the first round, from uh, Bedford High School, in New Hampshire. Dennis, did I did I set off your Google Home? Did is it telling you about the news of the day? There's Sheldon Nusi at a 250. Google Home heard me. Oh man, Dennis, you shouldn't have told me that. Now I'm just going to say, like, just when you least expect it, I'm going to be like, I don't know. I, I'll maybe send, send Google to look at maybe some, some non-family-friendly websites, some adult websites. <laughs> You'll be like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't look that up. There's Osiris Johnson. All right, so that goes to the Marlins. Andrew Hennessy with that one. Nice orange. Yeah, Eric Bailey. I, li I like the oranges. Always look nice in these sets. Wait, so Jaden, you have power now, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's back? Everything's okay? Or are you on some sort of mobile device? Remember that huge blackout that blacked out the entire eastern seaboard? When was that? That was a million years ago, but... Oh, it only went out for like five seconds? And everyone's like aliens? So those are your three autos right there. Here's the rest. Just paper right here. Oh my God! Eric Bailey! Eric Bailey, so we did some Revolution Basketball. Eric Bailey got in and got a LeBron James Revolution Liftoff Galactic Super Short Print. He sold it for $990. Don't sleep on the basketball, boys and girls. Jaspi's case breaks. Now, the baseball is great. I love it. 
But if you're looking for a secondary market return, ROIs. The bass one, non-auto. Just a super short print. Not even numbered one of one. $990. Now, hold on. Wait, Eric, were you expecting more or less? I guess that, I guess whatever, wherever your expectation level is. Now, if you were expecting like, you know, 1500 and then you got a thousand, you know, maybe then you're like, uh, <laughs> if others sold for that and yours was like the lowest one, maybe you're not happy. One just sold best offer at 900. There you go. You almost got a thousand off of that. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad our shipping team was able to get that to you ASAP, so you can put it on, on the bay, ASAP. Nice. There you go, Eric Bailey. That 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 may that may cover may cover some uh, Christmas gifts, right? All right, we are cruising, folks. We are flying through this break. This may be this may be a personal best for me, maybe. There you go. Help pay for the daughter's drum set. Will it be able to pay for uh, maybe some earplugs too? Wait, is she just starting out? Always a big fan of people getting into music. Out of four ninety nine, I could never do the drums. I've been playing guitar for ages. Bass guitar I can do, a little piano here and there. Just lacked the the the, the hand foot coordination. Nice Ryan Jeffers for the twins, by the way. That's for EA. And um Man, just can't do it. I played in some bands where my buddy, good buddy of mine, is drummer. And I was like, how do you do this? I can do one or the other, the feet or the things. But, uh, but uh, together, can't do it. Bo Burrows out of 250. Jaden, you want some Joe guitar? You can listen to this little out of season now, but there's my Christmas cover songs. It's kind of folksy Americana, that style, but I'll bring a guitar in sometime. I've been thinking of buying a, a little a mini guitar, like a half-size guitar to bring into the shop to just to keep here. Goof around whenever it's slow. There's some days in the summer where, <laughs> where it gets kind of slow where we can goof around doing that. We'll be busy for the next few months, though. With all this stuff. Gilo, you play the drums too? Nice. Oh, it was an upgrade. So, oh, she already plays. Told her she stuck with it. <laughs> that you would buy her a better set and she stuck with it and you got her a better set. Nice. She good? How old is she? Could, she could, drummers are very, very valuable in bands. Nice autograph coming up. It's going to be Jared Kalanick. Nice. 61 out of 250 for this Wisconsin boy who was involved in the Cano trade. I think he was. He's, he's on the M's now. But this is still Mets edition. D-Mac with the Metropolitans. She's pretty good, 16. Man. Get her in a, is she, is she, is she playing with a band or anything like that? Out of 402, Scipion for the Brew Crew. Maybe high school marching band drums? 
All right. Papel y Chrome. Nice. Okay, so she does do marching band percussion. Awesome. In a rock band in the summer when school is out. That's so cool. Yeah, drumming in L.A. out here. Good drummers are hard to find. Bass players, too. Everyone wants to be a star in L.A. There's Matt Verling, Vierling for the Phillies, 250. Everyone wants to be a star. They want to be a lead singer, lead guitar player. No one wants to, no one wants to be the drummer or the bass player, but that's like the back... The back line, almost the most important part of the band. There's Jason Schroeder for King D and the Astros. There you go, King D. That's the third auto out of the box. Three boxes left. Flying. Flying through this break. Good luck, everyone. Nine more autographs to go. Three, six, and nine. So if you don't have a hit yet, no need to panic just yet. Maybe in the last box you can panic. But right now, you're still good. That's right, Jaden. Bass and drums are the most important. You can always be, you know, if you're if you're a guitar player, if you're a singer or whatever, you can always you can be a little loose, you know, on timing and everything. But and people will think that's stylistic, and they'll be like, "Yeah, that's cool." Bass and drums, there's no room for that. Think about U2. If U2, now, pe people may argue, you know, Larry Mullen and Adam Clayton aren't doing anything ex super exciting for the U2, but that sort of steady and almost metronomic timing that they have allows The Edge to do what he does and allows Bono to do what he does for U2. Otherwise, it would just sound like a mess. I know, I spy that orange too. Should we do that stack last? Let's do this stack first. I spy orange. And another printing plate. Wow. No ink on this one, but there it is. Tristan Houses. Tristan Houses going to Jeff Goldberg and the Boston Red Sox. Nice. Jeff. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And the autograph is going to be another Jason Schroeder. 198 out of 247 this time, King D. Goes along with that base auto. Yeah, I, in all of my years of doing this, I don't think I've seen two printing plates in one Bowman draft case. They're, they're hard to hit in the first place just because there's so many thousands of cards in every case. One auto and then one base. I'll take that. I'm glad this is a decent case. Imagine if we, if we, like, we were breaking this late and it was just case was just crappy. 
that's always the worst. Like everyone digs deep to do this late night break and then it just turns out to be not a very good break. There's Jazz Chisholm. I believe Chisholm is where uh, Moonlight Graham is from, right? Chisholm, Minnesota? No? Am I, did I get that wrong? There's Josh Naylor, Noah's brother, I think, out of 250. That's for the Friars. And we've got Tyler Frank out of 499. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. That goes to Kaham with the Friars. Remember when Rhett Butler said that? And everyone freaked out? Because he said damn in the movie? 1930s, so you're not supposed to say that in a movie. That was a big deal. That's like, I don't know. I don't know what the equivalent of that word would be today. Maybe like F-U-B, Nico Horner out of 150. All right, let's see what that orange is about. I think you guys are right. It looks like it's paper. Although we are looking for one more autograph out of here. It looks like paper from here too. Papel? Si. It's Sheldon Nusi. 13 out of 25. Orange paper for the A's. Eric Bailey with that one. And there's our third auto. It's Hannah Dodson. Tanner Dotson for the Tampa Bay Rays, Greg Dunway. There's some, there's some good underrated value, boys and girls, with the Rays. A lot of, lot of, a uh, lot of autographs on that checklist, and not, not an insane price for what you get or what you could get in a group break. All paper. Maybe some lower numbered parallels. We can find in here, perhaps. No. All paper. Maybe a little blue right there. All right, there we go. Trevor Stefan, Stefan. Four out of four hundred two Yankees. That'll be for Mr. Bailey as well. We'll have those sleeved and top loaded before they ship out, of course. Six autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Bryce Harper, where does he go? Manny Machado, where does he go? Where does he sign? JT Real Muto, where is he traded? I think those are like the three big names out there, right? And will will Kluber or Bauer get traded? Maybe. I don't think they will unless they get blown away by an offer. But... Those are, the, those are the big names. Machado Yankees, that makes sense. Fill that D.D. Gregorius hole in the infield. Jag is saying, what, Real Muto isn't going anywhere with their asking price? Marlins kind of shot themselves in the foot when they were, like, giving away players for, like, a second. And they're like, oh, wait, we can get more prospects? Wait, what? I guess they got a decent return for Yelich. Maybe. I don't know. But then Yelich turned into the NL MVP. <laughs> Jane's thinking, what, Harper NL, NL Central maybe? 
Jag is thinking AL Central. White Sox. Could be interesting. Eric Bailey's thinking Dodgers. 300 million. 10 years. I don't know if that Dodgers front office is down to do that. I feel like they'd be willing to pay more per year, but for shorter. And there's Carlos Cortez. Or the Metropolitans, Darren McKenzie, DMAC having a nice break. I think I think they'd be the Dodgers would be more inclined to doing like forty years for four or five years, something crazy like that. Forty million for five years, I can see them doing that before before ten years, and that five year would still have opt outs too. So, but I don't know. I mean. Dodgers got under the luxury tax last year, which they wanted to, so now their penalties have reset. Um, you know, so their penalties have reset, so they can spend a little extra money without incurring max luxury tax penalties. So we'll see. Yeah, Elo Jimenez, who's originally a Cub, right? And Bryce Harper in that outfield, plus Jose Abreu there. And Michael Kopech's arm gets healthy. You know, they're quietly building a pretty nice team out there. Any word on Jeter? That man's not only the owner, GM, whatever, but number one contributor to the Yankees' success. Scott Boris, yeah, could sell snow Snowballs Eskimo. That's true. There's Thomas Ponticelli. The four ninety nine for the Indians. I don't know. We'll see. There's a nice Tim Kate autograph for the Nats. Rick Barker on the board. I know, right, Eric Bailey? I think it wasn't as bad as... Shoot, why am I blanking on this guy's name? The guy who went to... Um, the guy who went to the Cardinals from the Marlins... He had a down season, but but he the Marlins pretty much gave him away, and he was a great player for the Marlins. I'm blanking on his name. I, my head's not in baseball mode. But there's Luis Robert. Marcelo Zuna, right, exactly. That's uh, That gold will go to the White Sox. That'll be for Josh Pruce. So they, I feel like they pretty much gave away Ozuna, right? They got a little more of a return back from Yelich, I think. I think they realized, oh, everyone's saying we did it wrong. <laughs> We should get more stuff. And I think they got more stuff from Yelich, but, but man, what an extra kick to the to the midsection or lower <laughs> when Christian Yelich just goes off and becomes NL MVP. Now what's his value? You know what I mean? I mean, listen, I understand clearing payroll. That's fine. You know, I understand the economics of of, of that move. But I feel like they kind of rushed into it. They, they didn't really take their time to do it. You know, almost as if they were scared that they wouldn't be able to get this deal again, but they undervalued their, I don't know. It just seemed very rushed. Clear payroll, that's fine. You know, start over. There's Jake Wong for the Giants. You know, Astros did that. They, they cleared a ton of payroll. They tanked for a couple years, drafted some great players. And now look at them. There's another Jason Schroeder. Wasn't Eric Bailey talking about a possible rainbow here? King D. Out of 150, Jason Schroeder, your new favorite player. But I feel like Marlins could have waited a little bit. You know, been a little more prudent with their moves and gotten better returns for players like Marcelo Zuna, Christian Yelich. And now they're asking too much for Real Muto, right? Because, you know, you know because... Because they realize they screwed up the other deals last year. Grant, and then they won't be able to move him. And then when they should be moving him. So anyhow. Oh, this is cool. I don't think I've seen a number one of this yet. Two fan. We got to pull. Maybe we'll see a Nick Madrigal autograph in that last box right there for the White Sox franchise futures. That's pretty cool. 
Last box, ladies and gentlemen. This might be this might be personal best. This might be PB for me right here. All right, fifty minutes flat right now. Now I got randomizers too, but I think from box one to the end of box eight, this may be one of my faster ones. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Eric Eric Bailey has a Reds fan. Hopefully Puig doesn't disappoint. You know what? It's a good thing that you guys have our uh, hitting coach, our former hitting coach, Taylor Ward. Because he and he and Yasiel have a really great um, relationship. I, as a fan, Yasiel Puig, definitely a fan favorite. As a, like, if I have GM hat on, yeah, that move had to get done. But if I put fan hat on, I didn't want him to go anywhere. Matt Kemp, too. But Puig, Puig was, was going to make like $12 million in arbitration or something like that. Matt Kemp's still getting paid $20 million or something. Dodgers can keep that. Especially since, you know, their goals of winning a world championship, I don't think Puig is going to help. But I think, in, in my opinion, with Yasiel Puig looking to kind of make, a, make his first big free agent contract, get his first big free agent contract after next season, and with Taylor Ward on the Reds coaching staff and in that ballpark, bandbox style, I think Yasiel Puig's going to crush in that park. I think he's a good kind of, I don't know, I think all the fantasy analysts will say the same thing, but but if he can get onto the radar in your fantasy league, I, I would be I would pick up Puig late. Or if you're in an auction league, buy low on try to buy low on him. Because I think he's gonna be sneaky good. Reds might let him run too. Right? So there's a chance, you know. There's Josh Stowers, an autograph out of 499. There you go, Tice. Tice pop with the Mariners. He, he does, yeah, he does seem to be excited. Like I said, I think it's good that he's reunited with someone familiar like, uh, like his hitting coach. You know, Alex Wood is going to be there too. You know what I mean? So he's got, a, he's got an old LA buddy with him too. So I think that. I think that's going to be it's going to be nice for him. I think he's excited. I think he realizes that this is his chance to just he's going to play every day. You know, so he's going to play every day. I'm assuming. And I think they're just going to let him be Puig. Let him be I think the Reds are going to let him be himself. Hit, have a cannon in right field. You know, maybe run a little bit, steal some bases. He could be a 30-30 guy. One thing to be cautious of, you got to hope that he's got hamstring issues every once in a while. Little little uh, hamstring issues kind of keep him knocked out or limit him in play. There's Chris Bubich. So, hey, if he can, if he can kind of, you know, stay lean and keep the hamstring strong, I think they'll be. I think he'll be really. I think he'll be really good, and I think he will be extra motivated because. This is his last chance at like a big free agent contract. He's a little bit older, so he's only going to get one bite at the free agency apple after 2019. So I think you'll see a well-motivated Puig. Fans should love him, I think. I think you guys will be very excited to have have just watch him play. It's it's electric. And whatever you felt about Yasiel Puig before, if you get a chance to watch him play every day, nice Tim K goal, 24 out of 50. I think you'll kind of be like, oh, crap, like, You'll be like, oh man, that guy. I don't know. Like, you'll you'll be a believer. I think, you know what I mean. He gets a lot of crap just for the way he is, the way he plays. But he's got he's got kids. You know, I think he he's he's got a couple of kids now. I think that's kind of kind of put put his attitude and his head in a better place and all that. So he slowed down a little bit. There's Hunter Green, L.A. kid in Cincinnati. Yeah, Dodgers. Got uh, Homer Bailey, who they promptly released. And they got Josiah Gray, I think, were the big prospects. And Jeter Downs. They may be trade chips. Or they could just be uh, guys that come up in the organization. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here.
Do they need to give up both of their top prospects? Well, I don't know. I don't think it was like Nick Senzel level. You know what I mean? It wasn't Hunter Green. You know what I mean? So I, I, I think it was it was guys that they were they either had coverage in, in the in, in their farm system, or maybe for whatever reason they were gonna their path was gonna be blocked or they just had different plans with the future. This is our final autograph, Ryder Green Yankees, Eric Bailey. With the last one. And I think Josiah Gray, they just they just drafted this year. And I think he's pretty young. He might be a prep school guy, so I think it might take an additional two or three years for him to really develop. And a nice orange chrome, 15 out of 25. That swag, Travis Swaggerty. Nice one for John G. and the Buckos. I think Puig might be reunited with Scott Shebler. They may have had some overlap in the minors together. Shebler was a was in the Dodgers organization for a little while. There's Matt Tice out of 402 for the Angels, and that, my friends, is that 56 and 30 seconds. I think that's a record, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do some randomizers, and then we'll do a quick recap. At the very end, so you can see it again. Thanks, everyone. Made great time on this break, and we're not that much over. Not that much over time. It's all right. All right, so we'll go left, right on the regular recommended viewing cards, and then the one that was serial numbered, KC and Cleveland. Let's roll the dice. Snake Eyes, that's easy. Thanks, Ram.org. This late at night, one, it's not like two sixes. And two. Left side, we'll get him. Left side right there. And the one number to 250. 2 times. Easy. One and two. KC. We'll get it. So Kansas City, that goes to G-Lo. 187 out of 250 on that one. And there you have it, folks. Solid break, I think. I'm not mad at this break. It was pretty good. Got some gold. A few J Jason Schroeders for, for King D. Got a printing plate. Got a Jared Kalanick, class of 2018. Some orange. Grant Avril Levine, your number one overall pick. Big, big first rounder for the Rays as well. Printing plate autograph. You know, Alec Baum early on. That was good. Grayson Rodriguez. A, I forgot about this. Black, 70 out of 75. Jonathan India for the Reds was strong and started out with a Kalanick. Boom. What a break. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for digging deep, knocking this out. More importantly, I appreciate you guys hanging in the chat with me too. That helps this move uh, at least make it feel like it moves a lot more quickly. Eight box jumbo, pick your team nine in the books. We only have two more cases left. Check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.